Good day, everyone. I am Anago Amara Chuku Sophia, and I'll be making a presentation on leveraging artificial intelligence for forest analysis and growth prediction. In this presentation, we'll be exploring the introduction to artificial intelligence, forest analysis methods, AI focused forest analysis, challenges and opportunities, and then we'll conclude. Artificial intelligence refers to the development of computer systems that can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence, like learning, reasoning, problem solving, decision making, using technologies like machine learning, computer vision, robotics, and so on. Artificial intelligence has emerged as a powerful tool that cuts across every niche and industry. Recently, WhatsApp and Facebook updated their features by introducing the Meta AI. We have ChatGPT, we have Siri, we have Alexa, and so much more. Therefore, due to its unprecedented opportunities, AI can revolutionize our forest management practices by providing accurate insights into forest health, biodiversity, and growth patterns. By harnessing its capabilities, we can make better informed decisions to protect our forest and foster sustainability. We have two basic forest analysis methods, which are our traditional methods and our AI-based methods. Our traditional methods, which are manual surveys, remote sensing, GIS, our conventional methods, which were good analytical methods, but have proven to be time consuming, give limited spatial coverage and subjective interpretation of data. But our AI-based methods, which are machine learning, computer vision, remote sensing algorithms, and so much more, are more efficient, reliable, and accurate. Machine, machine learning, which will be one of the AI analytical tools we'll be discussing, is a subset of AI that enables computers to learn from data and make predictions or decisions without explicit programming. For example, application of machine learning to analyze our historic forest growth data can go through processes like data collection, which is getting your measurement of your tree heights, your DPH, your canopy cover. The second process would be to pre-process your data which basically means cleaning your data to remove outliners, um, check for missing values, and normalize numerical features. The next process will be your feature engineering, which is extracting the relevant features you will need, such as the growth rates, growth patterns, environmental variables. Your next step will be your model selection, which is choosing the appropriate machine learning algorithm by using um, models like regression models, your ARIMA model, which is a time series model. The next feature, the next process would be to train your models by reducing errors and um, optimizing the performance of your models using uh, metrics like RMSE, which is your root mean square error. The next process would be to evaluate your data. By evaluation, you can check the performance of your trained data by accessing its accuracy and precision. Finally, which would be the deployment, you deploy the trained machine learning model to analyze new or incoming forest growth data. Hence, with the application of this machine learning, you can be able to predict your forest growth based on historical data. You can detect and classify different forest cover types, and you can also identify areas at risk of deforestation or forest degradation. Another analytical method we'll be looking at will be our computer vision. Computer vision involves the teaching of computers to interpret and understand visual information from images or videos. And it can be applied to automated detection of tree species, canopy cover, identification of forest disturbances like wildfire, infestation, it can also map out forest fragmentation, edge effects, and habitat connectivity. The last AI technology we'll be looking at will be our remote sensing algorithms. Initially, I mentioned remote sensing as a traditional method. This remote sensing algorithm is the application of algorithms to remote sensing um, analysis, which gives it a more automated analytical process and is more efficient and reliable. It involves the capturing and analyzing, and analyzing of data from sensors mounted on satellites, aircraft, or drones to monitor the changes on Earth's surface over time. And it can be applied to mapping of forest extent, deforestation rates, estimating of forest biomass, biomass, monitoring of forest disturbances, such as wildfire, logging activities, and so on. Therefore, we can see that the applications and objectives are, are synonymous. So with the application of AI, we can be able to make um, 
better data-driven um, decisions. Just like every other technology, AI will have its challenges with its application into forestry, like the data quality, given the, the manual methods or limited methods we use in analyzing our data, we will have challenges like the data quality, the completeness, the reliability of this data. We'll also have a challenge of algorithm accuracy. Our Currently, our data are heterogeneous, they're not homogeneous. Because of um, the human limitation, we have different um, heterogeneous data around, hence the need for AI, which will help foster homogeneous data in circulation. Finally, one of the last of the challenges we'll be looking at will be most the sourcing of data from different diverse sources like satellite imagery, field survey, ecological databases. These are much more challenges we we'll face, but it doesn't outweigh the opportunities of AI to forestry. We we'll have collaborations between forest scientists, computer scientists, remote sensing experts to be able to make AI-driven forest analysis. Okay, the collaboration will foster greater innovations in our forestry sector. Knowledge sharing. This will also promote knowledge, knowledge sharing and capacity building to empower our stakeholders with the necessary skills and tools to harness AI for forest management. This is a call to action for the ISTF Global to be able to empower its members to fund researches on innovations and AI technologies, especially in our forest practices, to be able to, to, uh, to foster growth and, and um, to be able to foster and improve our forest management practices. Finally, we're we'll looking at open data, which is another opportunity AI brings. It helps to facilitate the accessibility of forest data it promotes transparency, it promotes collaboration in AI research. In conclusion, this year's International Day of Forests, the theme was Forest and Innovation, which is a, definitely a call to action for foresters to be able to apply innovative technologies in our management practices. By harnessing AI, we can be able to unlock new insights, enhance our understanding of forest ecosystems, and ensure long-term resilience and vitality of our natural resources. Together, let's leverage AI as a tool to revolutionize our forest analysis and growth prediction, enabling us to make data-driven decisions for the conservation and sustainable management of our forests. Thank you.